Hello Faithful Oilers, today I'm going to be talking about the Essential Oils 101, learning the basics and what these essential oils are all about. So I'm going to start off with teaching you um, all about the Premium Starter Kit that Young Living has most people start out with. It's your, your best bang for your buck, the most commonly used oils, and it's just a good uh, foot in the door on how to use the essential oils. So we're here to talk about what the hype is all about. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, um, my name is Dr. Ray Schumann, and I'm a chiropractor, and I've been um, practicing for almost nine years. And I come from a, a background where my father's a naturopath doctor, and we were exposed to natural health at an early age, especially because my father had some pretty major health crisis. He had stage 4 cancer and he found um, ways to treat it alternatively and is still with us today and is cancer free. So needless to say, us kids, um, my siblings and I, have been able to see the benefit of natural health and the essential oils has been one of the major ways that we seek health. Um, in addition to a healthy diet, um, a good nervous system, making sure we don't have toxins. Um, yeah, so how we view this is we call it understanding the health puzzle. And I'm going to uh, go to the full screen so you can see these slides better. So where we practice um, in Minnesota, we believe in the four pillars of health. And if diet is huge as well as deficiencies in nutrition and the nervous system. We highly believe in getting adjusted regularly to be able to maximize your, your body and the, the vehicle that you have that makes everything run. And then we have toxins and pathogens. And with the toxins and pathogens, this is where we get to focus mostly on how the essential oils can play a role in your family's health and um, just, just as where the essential oils shine. So leading into that, we are all living in a very toxic environment. According to the Environmental Defense Council, more than 4 billion pounds of toxic chemicals are released into the environment each year, of which 72 million pounds are known carcinogens. So those are a lot of pounds of cancer-causing agents. Now this stat I found for Canada, which you could pretty much say we're very similar, but uh, what we've been told when being taught, it's a 1 in 2 and 1 in 3 ratios of men and women getting uh, cancer at some point in their lifetime. Now normally I play a video at this point um, talking about the toxins in the cosmetic, um, the company that we are, the, the toxins in the, in the company of, companies of cosmetics out there. And I would highly encourage you to go to YouTube and look up the story of cosmetics. And it's a well document on how the FDA is, is not regulating what is being put in the cosmetics and it's very scary. Um, so you, as, as we know it, there are carcinogens in practically every product that we are putting on our body. So that is why my family has chose to start using the essential oils to basically rid of as many toxins as possible and cut out the possibilities of creating cancer possibilities. So let's talk about what is an essential oil. The essential oils are aromatic, volatile oils that come from plants, plant parts, roots, resins, leaves, flowers, shrubs, seeds, you name it. And so those are the healing properties of the plant. And they are in a lipid form, that's why it's called an oil, and they can easily penetrate into our cells, affecting their benefits upon us. And so some of the ways we can use the essential oils is through inhaling them, smelling them, through topical application, dietary, um, and we'll talk more on how that 
can be done. And because the oils are light in molecular weight, they are very easily absorbed in our skin, and they can actually even cross the blood-brain barrier. The essential oils are very concentrated uh, because of the tiny molecular structure of the components of an essential oil. Um, they are that's how they are so concentrated because there's uh, 40, 40 million trillion molecules. So numerically, that's four with 19 zeros after it. 40 million trillion molecules are in one drop of an essential oil, um, inside the essential oil bottle. And because we as humans have 100 trillion cells in our body, and yes, that's quite a lot, but with one drop of the essential oil, that contains enough molecules to cover every single cell in our body with 40,000 molecules. When you think about it, that's pretty mind-blowing. And then, according to Dr. David Stewart, who wrote Healing Oils of the Bible, uh, he says that considering that it only takes one molecule of the right kind to open the receptor site and communicate with the DNA to alter cellular function, you can see why even one drop or inhaling a small amount of oil vapor can have profound effects on the body, brain, and emotions. And to get these essential oils concentrated, it takes a lot to do so. If you want one pound of rose essential oil, you need 40 or 4,000 pounds of Bulgarian roses. And to get um, 26 cups of peppermint tea, which none of us would ever really drink that at one sitting. Um, but if you wanted the benefits of peppermint, you could just do one drop of peppermint oil in a hot cup of water. And the same for lemons. Um, how many of you have ever put in a cut of lemon or a lemon slice or wedge into your water? Um, I know I've done it pretty much every time I go out to eat if I don't have my lemon oil with me. So, one drop of lemon oil has the health benefits of one pound of lemons. So, there's grades of essential oils, and um, the perfume industry is what regulates the essential oils. Just know that labels can be deceptive and misleading. To have 100% pure on the label, it only needs to have a 5% pure oil. And synthetic, meaning that it's lab made, can be harmful and there's no therapeutic value. And we preach that synthetic, you want to avoid at all costs. Because it is uh, chemical and not God made and man made, it, it really can mess with some of the endocrine system and the hormone system in women. And so we, we see that synthetic fragrances can cause a lot of ill effect. I don't know if you've ever walked down a um, detergent aisle at the grocery store and some people can get immediate headaches or feel sick to the stomach because it's pretty synthetic and toxic to be able to breathe those in and to be around those. So we in our household, we do not go down those oil aisles. So then you also have extended or altered oils. And those are fragrance grade, and they may contain solvents, chemical extenders, and then there's no therapeutic value with those. Next you have natural oils, and those can be organic and certified oils. And those focus on growing um, natural and chemical in a natural and chemical free environment but no focus is done on the harvest and distillation process. And they can pass oil standard tests, but may not contain any or just a few therapeutic compounds. These are typically the essential oils you will see on the shelves of grocery stores, co-ops, natural food stores. Then there's therapeutic grade. These are pure medicinal steam distilled essential oils, and they contain all the desired therapeutic compounds, meaning that they are organic, they don't have anything sprayed on, they focus on how they harvest and how they distill, and so then they have very high um, stringent ways in that they get these oils to market, and it's no, no laughing matter in how they get these oils to market. So that's Young Living Oils. They um, they're the only ones who can claim the seed to seal. They plant the seeds, they cultivate, 
they distill it, they test them, and they seal them. And as far as we know, the, the, the farms have never had any pesticide history, no herbicides, and they never will because that's, they do not want anything um, alterating or uh, disturbing the, the process of how they create their seed to seal. So you can know that with the essential oils from Young Living, they're high quality and they're going to be getting um, to what they need to be getting to in terms of creating health and healing. And that's why we've chosen it for our family and my father who had cancer. Um, he was using the essential oils on his cancer journey uh, over 15 years ago. So we're going to talk about the premium starter kit. And I talk about this one because it's, it's, it truly is the best way to get started using the essential oils. And what starts out, you get 10 of the oils and then you get a bonus oil. And so overall you get 11 oils. Then you get to choose from two different uh, diffusers. And I'll go over the difference of those later on. And then plus you get a couple other samples of um, wonderful antioxidant drinks called Ninja Red. And then sample, little sample packets. I have about eight drops of oils in each. And you get a, a little variety of different oils. Uh, so you will be able to also get uh, your wholesale membership with purchasing a premium starter kit. And that's a very important thing because then you can order your oils to your discretion whenever you would like at wholesale. And then I will show you how you can get the pocket, the quick reference guide uh, via this uh, end of this presentation for free, along with other fun uh, oils uh, tools to help get you started and using those oils. So let's talk about how most people use the essential oils. Um, most commonly, and just it's a real easy way, people prefer to use the oils on their feet if they know, don't know where else to put the oils. Uh, we commonly use uh, the essential oils on the feet for our children, and we do dilute our oils. Um, there's different ratios, but my kids are five and seven, and so I will put a couple drops with coconut oil, and then rub those into their feet and then that's how I get the oils into their system. There's a, a term called using an essential oil neat, meaning straight on, and most adults can get away with that. Most uh, of us recommend diluting for sure the essential oils with a carrier oil via, uh, that's coconut oil, olive oil, um, other oils that are healthy and organic uh, to be able to dilute down the, the oil um, as it can be a little more strong for children. Another way is this with the skin and let's just say for example you wanted to use an oil to help relieve some neck pain. You could put peppermint and I'll talk about that in a little bit straight on the skin. And you wouldn't have to dilute it. You could, but you wouldn't have to dilute it. Um, and that's one way most people use the essential oils. Smell is the next. And with um, the smelling of the oils, you can literally rub them on your hands, put it up to your nose, and smell or breathe it in. Um, they also make diffusers, which you would get in your premium starter kit. And the diffuser uh, puts the, the essential oil with water into the air and then you can breathe it in and smell it in and it's also very effective to oxygenate the air and neutralize any pathogens that might be lurking around. The spine is a fabulous way to uh, administer the essential oils. I have used essential oils many times on my children's spine um, diluted with a carrier oil for helping to fight infection and boost their immune system and help to reduce fever. 
and I really I do really like that method when um, there's some just a tough tough situations with them needing to get well faster and so there's different um, therapies out there and some people are, have heard of raindrop technique and that is a, a kit you can actually buy from Young Living and it's very popular for massage therapists and other healing practitioners to perform uh, the raindrop technique on patients and it's, the benefits are very you know they vary all over um, but I've had I have definitely referred patients to get the raindrop technique done when they've had uh, situations like viruses they're trying to um, you know have their body fight against and um, it has been beneficial for shingles and we like to suggest it because with the shingles virus it likes to lay dormant in the dorsal root ganglia of the spine and by giving the essential oils via the spine it can help to uh, have the body boost the immune system and go after um, supporting the immune system that way. Alright, so another one is under the tongue and with the tongue um, you just put it right under there and you let it absorb into the, the blood system and um, it's just a great way to get that the, the, it's just like doing a I guess a niacin <laughs> um, not that to correlate that but it's very a lot of blood vessels under the tongue to get the oils in and then of course water um, water and food those are other ways to get the essential oils in I like to use peppermint when I'm making healthy brownies I like to use lemon when I when I want want to drink some nice water when I go out to eat or um, a nice refreshing beverage when friends are over we'll use um, like a seltzer water and you know stevia and then uh, the citrus oil and then throw in cut of lemon lime wedges and it tastes fabulous so we're going to talk about peppermint first um, in terms of the essential oil starter kit I wish I could pass around the oils so that you could smell them, um, but you'll just have to get your own kit and smell them um, and go over this uh, PowerPoint again once you get your kit. So peppermint is just an all-around fabulous oil. We really use peppermint a lot in the clinic that I work at. Um, one of the most popular is to help with muscle aches and pains and to just decrease muscle spasms and give kind of an analgesic feel good hot cold uh, to the to the neck or back wherever we want the muscles to relax. Um, I use it a lot for helping with digestion. I like to put it in um, my my water, hot water. Um, you know, I've made healthy hot cocoa with peppermint and it's it just is so nice. And you can use it to help with the respiratory systems as well as the liver. And one of the pepper, peppermint has antispasmodic properties. And with that, that, that allows your, your digestive system, which is a smooth muscle system, uh, to have the, the peppermint will go in there and despasm those muscles. And so another area that has the smooth muscles is the bronchioles of your lungs. And so some people like to use peppermint to help open up their airways and just help with res the respiratory system. And so you can also use it to um, improve concentration and mental sharpness. I used to use peppermint often when I was studying for exams. I would rub a little bit under my nose, study, and then rub a little bit under my nose when I would take the test. And I would say it did help with recall. Um, another benefit is that it actually helps affect the brain's uh, satiety center, meaning you can feel full after having more peppermint. Um, and that talking of the food and the flavor of water, uh, again, who, who doesn't love a peppermint brownie? And a lot of people can use this in their recipes when they're trying to make natural bug repellents. And um, plus it smells good. Uh, yeah, so we just like to use that one for times of stress. 
it's another one that we use it. Um, not that I'm a proponent for always bringing down a fever, but it can help to decrease the fever by cooling with the feet. And I, I do say having a fever is sometimes good because you need to have where the viruses and the bacteria are naturally burned off from the body. But sometimes we need a little relief or a little help with you know, bringing down the fever. You don't want it to get too high because that gets dangerous too. And so then you have other benefits. Um, we've definitely used it for headache relief. I like to put a couple drops in the hand, rub it together, and then breathe in the oil. Let it hit the back of your head, or you know, when you're breathing in through your nose. And then, like I said before, you can rub it into the the base of the skull or the back of the neck, and that can help decrease the headache pain. Uh, some people, uh, they you know, they can't handle the peppermint you know, internally, like in a cup of water. You can just put a drop on your belly button, and that can help with uh, stomach aches and helps with digestion. And then there's the improving of concentration, the back pain. Some people it helps with being you know, nauseated or dizzy because it helps calm the, nerve, the digestive system. And just again, helps with aches and pains. So, lavender is our next one. Lavender is the other awesome, fabulous oil that is just such a versatile oil to get a lot done. And it's mostly known for bringing on rest and sleep and relaxing others. And it's an adaptogen which helps to assist in decreasing stress or imbalances. Um, that's why it's so good for promoting sleep and winding down before bed. And some people, when they're not going to bed, it can actually boost their stamina and give them some energy and focus. I like to use it for the skin. It helps with some properties of just uh, soothing the skin and helping with pH. and um, It just smells so nice. It also soothes and cleanses common cuts, bruises, and skin irritations. And another one to be used for flavoring of foods. And it supports a healthy circulatory system and helps with lung function. And again, you can have it where you um, can rub it into some aches in your joints. And we've, used, we've had many patients where they had an achy thumb or an achy joint. And we rub some lavender and it helped take some of the pain down. Here's a before and after picture. <clears throat> this is not anybody that I'm related to, but this is one that I found on the internet. And um, so this this person had severe uh, eczema, is probably oozing and cracking and having um, some blood appear. And after using uh, lavender and Melrose, which is another essential oil, with um, rose ointment, which is a salve that Young Living sells, and after seven days of using it, they had um, very good results, and you can see from the picture. Another fun one that lavender is used for, a lot of women like to put a couple drops of lavender in their mascara, and it can help with thickening your eyelashes and lengthening them. That is one that I need to try. Um, I just need to remember to put the lavender in my mascara. This is actually one of my favorite ways to use the Young Living Oil of lavender. Um, you can see this person got pretty severely sunburned. And all she did was put lavender and coconut oil on for three days. And her burn pretty much did not cause the damage that it should have. Uh, peeling and pain and cracking and I will attest to that um, there have been many times where if I missed a spot from sunscreen because um, we don't like to use the toxic sunscreen but we like to use our own homemade and if we missed a spot and we see it's turning pink or red we will add um, lavender straight on to help with soothing of the pain and it changes the pH in the skin, and so you end up not getting 
um, the burn and the pain and the blistering, which is really nice. Okay, Thieves. Thieves is a very popular oil. A lot of people first hear about Young Living Oils through the oil called Thieves. And it was created based on research about four thieves in France who covered themselves with cloves, rosemary, and other aromatics such as cinnamon, eucalyptus, and lemon. And they were able to go around and rob the grave during the bubonic plague era and not get sick and die. When they got caught, they um, had to give up the recipe in order to, I guess, be kept alive. So therefore, based off the research and the, the history, Thieves was created by Gary Young. And it's very much a highly uh, sought after and a favorite oil that most, most essential oil users love to use. And it's great for its cleansing and disinfecting abilities. It's also effective in supporting the immune system and can contribute to better health. It's been effective in mold re remediation, and a lot of people use it for, like I said, disinfecting and eliminating mold odors. And so there's a whole cleaning product line. There's toothpaste, there's mouthwash, there's deodorant, um, there's floss, um, you name it, that, cr that is needed for um, disinfecting and hygiene. There's a Thieves product, and or you can make it yourself. So one of the things that I have done is I've done a few little um, experiments with the essential oils and some petri dishes and E. coli and Staph aureus. So teaching in the nursing field, I have been able to come across access of uh, petri dishes, E. coli, Staph aureus, and these are little antibiotic discs. And then I have all the essential oils. So just to explain this slide a little better, this is actually on my website at drfaceessentials.com. And what I did is I took the petri dish, smeared it with E. coli, put the penicillin and gentamicin antibacteria discs on there, and then we let them grow up. And same thing for the staph aureus. And we wanted to see what the resistance of the bacteria was to this these antibiotics. And so wherever it doesn't grow or it's clear, that is considered the antibiotic resistance. And you can measure the radius um, as effective how effective that um, antibiotic would be against that bacteria. So we tested thieves. You can see thieves had a fair um, radius here for against E. coli. And then we had staff and they had a, um, a somewhat, you know, it had some resistance. And the reason I, I put this with other ones that we tested, because a lot of people would say, hey, this is not very effective, or how is it not effective as, like, say, let's say, for example, oregano, lemongrass, thyme, another one called mountain savory, and then longevity is one that has cloven time in it. I would say that you need the varying degrees of um, resistance to bacteria just because you don't want to be always trying to kill the good and the bad. Um, it, it's just, it gets, you want your different strengths of oils just as you want your different strengths of antibiotics. And so that's where Thieves is a nice, gentle um, help in disinfecting. Um, now, granted, I will bring out the big guns of oregano, lemongrass, thyme, and all these when I really want to get some, some great sanitation going and just some resistance. Like if I wanted to kind of disinfect the room with bugs and viruses that were lurking about, um, I would diffuse the big boys, and including thieves, because it just has such a nice smell. Okay, so then, um, there's a study done where a hospital took um, air 
uh, spore counts, and they um, these are the results after using a fungicide and a bleach. And you can see that it did decrease. Um, which which is good for some others nothing and some for the the deco butters I can't say that one but then they went and they diffused thieves and after about 24 hours you can see that the the spore counts dropped and then they continued to drop even after two weeks of not diffusing and so that's thieves it's 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 very effective and. You know, it's just, it's a nice way to naturally disinfect and not have toxic chemicals lurking around. So here's a review of the essential oils for um, thieves. We have a, you know, you can put on your feet before they go to kindergarten. The kids can help shield them from bugs. Put it on a mask if you work at a hospital. You can hail when you're on the airplane or... Um, make a little lozenge or disinfect your hands. Toothpaste, and you can help it put on your throat when there's onset of a sore throat. And you can diffuse during the seasons. There's that mold and protection for the boosting immune system. Okay, frankincense. This is such a great oil. Um, it's you know it goes back to the biblical days and you know one of the oils that baby Jesus was given and it's known to be very stimulating and elevating to the mind. It's useful for visual visualizing and centering. Helps to focus the mind, overcoming stress and despair. And it's an ingredient in skincare products for aging and dry skin. A lot of people like to actually put this straight on and see if it can help with like the cartilage and the soft tissues and actually help to reduce wrinkles. It also promotes healthy joints and there's that cartilage function. Promotes normal cell regeneration, thus it's really good for the skin. And supports and promotes a healthy immune system as well as a healthy lung function. And so there's the helping with the um, you know, visualization and um, just emotional balancing and strength I would say. One drop of frankincense on the head would clear doubt and confusion and bring clarity of mind. So for some who want to just um, try that, go ahead. I, I can see where it would be related to some of the biblical things that Jesus had to go through. And so it just helps to enhance um, some frankincense, now it's the sacred frankincense, has been studied for its toxic, toxicity to cancerous cells, and it literally has been known to shrink uh, tumors. And I do have a video on my website um, from one of the scientists from Oman talking about how the sacred frankincense has been um, used in the research to shrink tumors. So that's definitely a video you'll want to find. Okay. Melaleuca alternifolia, or known as tea tree oil. This, a lot of people love this oil. It's regarded highly um, to help boost the immune system for the skin. A lot of it's been used for acne a lot. Uh, great for cleaning and um, giving a nice kind of a citrusy, uplifting smell. A lot of people like to add this to homemade deodorant. It can freshen the laundry. It's cleansing and soothing and can help maintain a healthy intestinal flora. Um, just with uh, probably keeping some of the bad bacteria at bay. Some have used this to help stop bleeding. And so that they they do the procedures where if there's a cut, you do the the, uh, the gauze and you get you know somewhat stopped with the bleeding. And then what happens is then you want to clean and dress the area with malaluca to quickly close the wound. And so there's properties in there that help to get healing promoted. And since it's good for promoting healing, you know, it's good for tooth and gum disease, sinus and lung issues, and for acne and fungal issues.
purification. That's one another one of my favorites, just because I have two boys, and it's nice to be able to diffuse purification if their little room is getting a little bit um, stagnant, I guess you could say, or it's nice to diffuse in the basement if you have basements and they can get a little bit musty um, and just kind of stagnant because there's no airflow. And a lot of people like to use it because it can soothe insect bites. One of the very most popular ways to use purification is to use on insect bites, cuts, and scrapes. And there's that talking about where it purifies and cleanses the air. Um, that's what we use it for. Uh, you can use it to deodorize carpet, car filters, the furnace, after air cooking, laundry, pedors, sneaky shoes, and again, excellent for cleaning. And so you can see that's just a review of the uses of purification. A lot of pet owners like to put one drop directly on the ticks to get rid of them and you can actually soak the animal collar in purification and other oils and use it as like a, a natural flea guard. Okay, pan away. This one is a wonderful oil for uh, those who have lots of aches and pains in their joints and their muscles. Um, if you've ever fallen or had an injury, a lot of people like to use Panaway uh, just to kind of soothe some of the aches there. And it's got wintergreen. Helichrysum is really good for bone healing and um, just with bruises and trauma. Clove and then peppermint. So you can imagine these are those would all feel really good on an injured area. And so there, there we go. We have it helps with. Um, the helichrysum helps with clotting and inflammation. If you have a bad fall, you want to help with the, the bumps and bruises. Helps with RA or pain in the, uh, the joints from arthritis. Um, Panaway has a natural methyl salicyclate, which acts as a blood thinner when pain is intense. And that's mostly found in the winter green. And you can use it for toothaches. Um, but if it's too spicy, you just use that carrier oil because wintergreen can get a little spicy. Joy is a very alluring and irresistible fragrance that inspires romance and togetherness. It's very refreshing and uplifting. A lot of people like to use it as a perfume. Um, I've used it to promote emotional and mental well-being. A great oil to incorporate in massage. And some have used it for helping with female issues such as cramping, moodiness, um, postmenopause, or not post, um, postpartum depression. A lot of people have used that when they have depression or sadness after the baby's born, and it just helps to uplift their moods and get them through some tough times. So this one's a great one to diffuse and to put in bath salts. Or like I said, um, as a perfume. Citrus Fresh. This one has orange, tangerine, mandarin, grapefruit, lemon, and spearmint. And so you can imagine those would all taste delicious in a cup of water. Or in some whipped cream with a little bit of stevia. So that you can get a little um, you know, nice treat for your fruit. Or some people like to use that as a um, in between for you know cookies or toppings. I've done that before many times. Um, it's a very relaxing, calming blend. Children love it because it's really uplifting and light. Adults like it too. It's really easy to use. Um, very rich in the antioxidant D limonene. Helps for, helps with um, decreasing aging and disease which is what free radicals do and your antioxidants bind and neutralize that and it can support the immune system and overall health while bringing about a sense of well-being creativity and feelings of joy a nice gentle easy one if people have sensitivities to smells um, it's a great one to diffuse as it's you know just uplifting um, citrus fruits and it's an appetite suppressant. 
one thing to note about Citrus Fresh is you wouldn't want to put it on your skin and then go out in the sun. Um, if you do, it will intensify that oil on your skin and make it look like you have a hickey. So not many people um, do that just before they're out ready to go out. Just have the caution on that. Um, other ways, um, like I talked about putting it in your wallet, water. Um, other people like to use Citrus Fresh. I'm sorry, my graphic is a little bit blurry here. But you can use it to um, do a petrochemical weight loss um, because the the citrus oils are really good at breaking down uh, plastics and petrochemicals thus helping to break up toxic fats that might be stored and it works pretty well I've tried it myself and I just the biggest thing is I needed to be consistent with it but I definitely noticed some um, thinning and helps with um, decreasing those inches. So if you were to do any of these weight loss with the essential oils, which you can Google all sorts of recipes, um, just make sure you measure your inches um, as well because it's not typically you're losing tons of weight, but you're typically losing more of inches. Stress away. This one combats all sorts of uh, events of stress that can happen every day in life. Uh, it helps with reducing mental rigidity and restores your equilibrium, which would be kind of a nice one to try if you're having a little bit of just dizziness that day. Um, I can imagine it would just decrease some stress that might be pulling on the neck muscles and um, stress and tension on the head. So if anybody would ever try that, let me know if it works. Um, because that's, that's one that's supposed to do, well, it's supposed to help with. Um, I like this one as a uh, another great one that smells nice. You can diffuse it. You can put it on children. It's just a really mild, light, beautiful scent. It has some lavender, or I'm sorry, vanilla in there, and so that you get that kind of undertone of vanilla. And there we go more with supporting of nervous tension and helps with the circulatory system because I imagine it decreases your stress. And so I like to use this one for bath salts. I like to mix it with Epsom salts and um, just put it in my bath and just get the magnesium and absorb and have the stress away. Um, it just it just smells so nice. You can couple that with joy too. Okay, so the last oil of the kit is lemon. And lemon uh, is just, again, a wonderful, beautiful, uplifting smell. You can't go wrong with it. It's just um, a genuine, real oil. And it has a powerful antioxidant, more of that D-lemonine. It can be beneficial for the skin. It's cleansing. And, but again, just be careful not to go in the direct sun after putting lemon on. Because um, you can put lemon on in, with coconut oil for a moisturizer and just to kind of help cut grime on the face. Again, I like to use it for flavor enhancing. Uh, you can use it to make a nice beverage, a healthy beverage for kids and adults. And most people really like the taste of it. It's supposed to support the nervous system. Um, just to help bot, like just, um, yeah, just create balance, I guess. And then a lot of people may know you can put lemon wedges in your water, and because it's um, an alkaline, um, has alkaline properties, it can help increase your health. As most of us have too much acid in our body, um, so the goal is to always have more alkaline. And there you go. It supports the immune system. It's an appetite suppressant, and it can help relieve occasional heartburn and digestion. And then I also like to use lemon as a natural goo gone. Um, it's great for taking off stickers, removing permanent marker. I've used it to remove um, a concrete stain that was oil based that that I accidentally spilled on my foot and it would not come off with, with soap or water. And so I used lemon and it worked 
fabulous to just naturally pull it off and I didn't have to use any other toxic chemicals to try to get that that concrete stain off my foot and so there we have we have um, helps with toxins if you use it regularly it can help with constipation heartburn um, it can help smoothen out calluses um, can help just de disinfect again and nice it reduces phlegm uh, because it's it's really good at just cleansing and detoxing so there you go there's the 10 everyday essential oils and then the bonus citrus fresh and so I'm going to tell you um, a few more honorable mentions and then I'm going to talk to you about how you can get your own kit um, Oils 102, someday I will have that PowerPoint out, but Copa Eba is a very nice oil in terms of just enhancing all the other oils. It's been known to increase um, the oil effects of whatever oil you're using by tenfold. It's also high analgesic, meaning that it's, it brings down pain and swelling. So we like to use that one for uh, joints and ligaments. And then also for teething, we use it on teething babies or um, tooth pain to just help with uh, analgesic. It just it soothes it. It's kind of nice. And it has an earthy flavor, so it's not spicy. It doesn't taste bad. And I, I've used it over and over and over, and patients have used it, and most people report that they really see good results with the copaiba. Okay, so breathe away or breathe again is very commonly used to help open up the sinuses and um, the airways. Um, very common for sinus congestion and that can lead to infection. And so if you need to open up those um, airways, breathe again is great. Deep relief, I'd have to say, is probably one of my all time favorites. I use that one all the time. I always carry one in my purse because you never know when you're going to get kind of a an ache or a pain or you know just from driving, flying, traveling, computer work. You just your muscles get sore. And Deep Relief has saved my um, my butt many times, and as well as patients, it just it really helps to relieve deep aches and pains in their necks and backs. Okay, Tranquil, that's a very nice one. Another one for just relaxing. It's got lavender. It's got other earthy oils. Um, so I can see this being used for some kids who have a hard time relaxing. And, um, yeah, so it's just a nice one. Progestance Plus, uh, this one is great for um, helping with PMS and irritability. But you, you want to read up on the book that Dr. Dan Purser, who's an MD, uh, wrote and developed uh, Progestins Plus for Young Living. And so he's got many books. Again, it's Dr. Dan Purser, MD. And um, that that's another seminar that we'll have to talk about. Other honorable mentions, Valor. That one's been liquid gold um, for, for our family and for our patients. Uh, it's pretty much called Chiropractor in a Bottle because it helps with... Um, the, the helps the body to self-correct balance and alignment and helps to support a healthy bone structure, emotional well-being. But I also like to use it for supporting physical and spiritual aspects of the body. I really like to use it when I need to speak in front of a crowd or if I need to just get the job done. Just It just really does work. It gives me courage and self-esteem. Um, it's just neat. It grounds me. And gets, you just kind of get to crack the whip and just get going on things when I use Valor. And then it's calming and relaxing. Um, my kids like that one too when I need to calm them down at night. And speaking of calming, there's another oil called Peace and Calming. And a lot of parents like this one to put on the bottom of the children's feet to just bring them out of being hyper and you know, it's time for bed, so let's do some peace and calming. We like to use this one for um, bath salts. It's um, just a just a really 
peaceful, uplifting smell. Um, helps with grounding, centers your emotions, helps with you know nervous irritability, stress. So it's just pretty much what it says, peace and calming. And then when you get your kit, you're going to get the um, two sample packs of Ninja Red. Um, they don't come in the bottle like this. They're just little two-ounce plastic uh, pouches. And we just love, love, love Ninja Red in our family. It's a wonderful way to get tons of antioxidants, tons of vitamin C, all sorts of properties that fruits and vegetables give you. And it's all concentrated and one to two ounces that you're supposed to take a day. And I also let my son take the pouch to school for lunch. Um, I always just make sure he's wearing a red shirt because he tends to spill all over um, himself when he drinks. He's just, he's a seven-year-old boy. And then, um, yeah, we'll, we will also freeze the pouches. Again, not the bottles, but the pouches that come in the, the starter kit. And we'll freeze them and cut it off the top, and then we can use that as a uh, like a treat in the summer when it's really hot, or when somebody's sick in the winter and they need their throat to be soothed um, with something cold. And then oils 102. There's a great kit called Golden Touch Kit, and that sometime you'll have to listen to my. Um, my lecture on winterizing um, your immune system and I talk about all those oils and what they do and so you have to look that one up okay so when you want to buy the starter kit and you're just wondering what this whole membership is all about um, here, here's the difference okay so if you're a customer member you, know, you just buy it at retail cost um, yeah, there's no obligation to purchase, sell, you don't get any opportunity to earn free product, and there's no reduced shipping. So therefore, most people, because they are healthy-minded and they want to start using the oils on a daily basis and just create a whole lifestyle of health and wellness and actually decrease how much they spend on ill health, um, so they will get what's called a distributor membership. It's kind of like your Costco membership. You pay for your kit and you're in the door. You get to now shop at Costco, aka Young Living. And you get wholesale costs, 24% off retail. There is no obligation to purchase or sell. There's no minimums, no fees. Um, you have wholesale membership for life. Granted, you order $50 per year, which is really cheap. Um, 50 PV. You earn points through what's called essential rewards. And you get free oils. Every month I'm getting free oils because I'm on the essential rewards program and I'll talk about that in a little bit. You also get reduced shipping through essential rewards. And this is what I do. I get an opportunity to make an income because I am passionate about sharing the oils with others. And I want this to be a healthy world for my kids. And I am tired of seeing how the healthcare system is not working and is causing a whole lot of stress. And everyone knows it. We know it's necessary to have the healthcare system. And I'm never going to bash it, but I'm going to say change is needed for health and wellness. And this is where I am passionate. Okay? So in order to get the premium starter kit, um, the general price is $150, and you would get the the smaller diffuser. Um, I guess it's not necessarily smaller, but it looks smaller. It's just round, whereas this one's long and tall. And this this one has a few options where you can run it continuously, um, or off and on. And I can't be, I can't remember if it's 30 seconds or whatnot. So this one has a couple options there. Um, and you just put water inside and then you put your essential oil drops and then uh, diffuses out of the, the middle. This one, which is called the bamboo diffuser, it 
has the settings for one hour or four hours and then it shuts off and some people prefer that because it just they want to be able to control how long the oils are diffused um, and they like the sleeker look okay and again inside the little cover comes off you put water in and the oils and then it diffuses out and these are those ninja red sack, um, samples I was talking about and other little samples so you get all of this and normally it's over $300 value and you also get it then you have um, your like I said Costco membership where you have access to get it. any oil you want then at wholesale cost if you sign up through my website I give you a um, bonus gift of signing up um, just as an incentive to motivate you to start just get going on these oils um, you have nothing to lose you will be so glad everybody who loves or uses the essential oils just love them and they use them practically every day and are seeing health benefits and they actually are saving money by having the essential oils and cutting down on their health care costs. So in this bonus you get the smaller reference guide for essential oils so it's kind of a, a purse pocket size which is wonderful for on the go and sharing about the oils with your friends. That's a $16 value. Then you get um, it's kind of a, a locket chain that you can put, um, like you can put leather inside or you can put tissue or whatnot and you just put the essential oil of your choice and then you get to smell it all day and then protect yourself um, whether or not you're around people who are not feeling good and that's a seven dollar value super cute by the way and then I have it where you can put essential oils in little travel um, a little travel key purse and I always have one on my my in my purse or when I travel because you always know you're going to come into run into something where you're going to need those essential oils and you don't want to always haul the 15 mil or the 5 mil bottles so this just makes it convenient and fast for you to use your oils and then you can put labels on the oil or labels on all of the 11 oils or labels on the oils that you will be getting in the future because you love them so much and I this is fun to have 203 labels to be able to individually individualize um, your oils and locate them fast so if you get those the starter kit through my website drfaithessentials.com you then um, will get mailed this wonderful little bonus kit and I'm very excited about it it's a great way to promote you to use those oils okay so then we're going to talk about that essential rewards program real quick a lot of people are confused by now it's a whole lot going on I just taught you about all the oils I taught you about you know, bonuses and signing up and all these things Young Living has one more program that they use and it's called the Essential Rewards Program. I have been on the Essential Rewards Program for over a year, meaning that every month I order at least $50 worth of product of my choice that I can change every month and I get to choose when it ships to me and I get 20% of every order every month given back to me. So let's just say I ordered $100 this month. Well, I'm going to get $20 of my order this month put into a nice little slot that I get to use for free products whenever I want. Okay, so for the first one to six months I was getting 10% meaning I ordered consistently every month and then I continue to order consistently every month from 7 to 12 months and then I'm consistently ordering every month now and I get reduced shipping I get priority with oils if they go out of stock um, and there's no obligation it's just a way to 
take advantage of using those oils and you're loyal and you're just you're loving the healthy lifestyle you're trading out your deodorant your shampoos young living has supplements we get our we get our uh, probiotics from them I get other um, like vitamins for my kids and it's just it works out really well and I get free products so it's it's a great program so here's an example of when you go and you log on to Young Living because everybody who gets um, a Young Living account via signing up through um, the premium starter kit oils you um, automatically are able to use the Young Living website and you can sign in to a virtual office you just go to youngliving.com and it says sign in and eventually you will get to what's called your virtual office and on this side you have all these little tabs and when you want your essential rewards you want to start it because you don't have to pay anything to start it it's just a no-brainer you just start it um, then you put my monthly order and you start to click through and add your product to add up to at least fifty dollars now I always order a hundred dollars a month because that's a whole other side of things but because I am um, sharing the essential oils and getting paid in order to get paid on the essential oils um, through different levels you want to make sure you're ordering a hundred dollars worth um, but that's another talk for people who want to use um, the essential oils um, to have a nice little side uh, thank you income from Young Living. But you can see here I have $73 worth of rewards points that I can use towards product. And you know, so let's just say lavender was 20 some PV points. Well, then that gets taken off the 73. So it's a pretty sweet deal. Alright, so helpful websites. Um, I'm hoping you are getting um, a lot of information already, but you can always learn more at youngliving.com. Once you get your own um, member number for being for signing up with the Essential Starter Kit or the Premium Starter Kit, you can go to oil dash testimonials.com and you can start to search different um, scenarios or issues that you maybe have dealt with and see what other people have used to help them with their um, health. So it's a great, great resource. Abundant Health for you, I like to go there to order little supplies, like if I want to make my own chapstick, my own deodorant, my own toothpaste. They have all sorts of neat little bottles and labels and books and you name it. It's it's a great website. And then of course my website, drfaithessentials.com. Um, I worked quite hard on this website to be able to compact all information about Young Living. And so we have this is not interactive, but you can just go to drfaithessentials.com and learn all about my young living, learn about me, um, the classes, my videos that I put out, um, different videos I found on other education on young living, and then the make this tab has, you can make all sorts of things, you can make desserts, you can make winter products, you can make shaving cream, you can make salves, lip balms, you name it. Um, I just put together a bunch of resources and, and recipes for you to be able to see, oh, what else can I do with the oils? And then, of course, for those who ever wanted to learn about um, the business side, um, you do have to be signed up underneath um, DrFaceEssentials.com to be able to utilize this tab. And so I would hope that someday, if you did ever sign up under Dr. Face Essentials, um, or uh, also those who are signed up under Revolution Wellness Center, they can benefit from this tab as well. Okay, well, I hope you have learned um, a great uh, foundation for the um, 11 oils that are most commonly used in that premium starter kit. 
And if you're on the fence about it, well, you know, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And so I hope you are ready to start your essential oil journey. And I would be glad for you to join my team um, on making a difference in the world and make an impact for future generations. And so I'm just going to uh, say goodbye and thank you so much for listening um, to my Essential Oils 101 talk. Blessings and great health to you.